Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Clarisonic foundation brush. So I purchased the Clarisonic a while ago, maybe over a year ago, and I used it rarely to clean my face. Um, I love it, it does a great job. It's just that I'm usually running out of the house and don't have time to use it, or I'm just lazy and ready to go to bed. So I don't use it as often as I should. However, when I learned that there was a foundation brush head for the Clarisonic, I went out and bought it. Everybody that knows me knows that I absolutely love gadgets. So I was like, wow, something I can use to apply makeup. Let me go try it. So I got it and fell in love with it. Um, it blended my makeup better than I have ever done it by hand. Um, the Beauty Blender does a good job, but this, this is bae. Now that I've tried it, I will never apply my makeup without it again, unless it dies on me like it did yesterday. But that was my fault. I should have charged it. <laughs> um, the only critique that I do have for it is that it's, it can't get underneath my eyes like I would like it to, which you'll see in the video. Um, but to solve that, I just use my little tiny beauty blender. And this is bay number two because it can really get into those little hard to get areas. But, um, so yeah, I, I don't have anything negative to say besides that. So stay tuned and watch me apply my makeup using the Clarisonic. Normally I start with a primer, but I forgot to today. So I just went in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 440. I put a smidge too much on my forehead, so I just wiped it off. And now I grab my Clarisonic and put it to work by moving it in circular motions, beginning with my jaw and just moving up to my cheeks. I'm not applying too much pressure because the Clarisonic really does all the work. And let me just say, I really love the Fenty Beauty foundation because it looks like your skin. Like, it just enhances your skin. It's not too cakey, it's really, really light. Next, I apply my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in little triangles underneath my eyes. Well, not little, but you get the picture. And then I draw a line on the bridge of my nose. Try to make sure that line is straight or else your nose will look crooked. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my handy dandy Clarisonic and blend it all out. As you can see, I was struggling to get in the corner of my eyes and just underneath my eye. So now I'm going to use the Small Beauty Blender to get the areas that I was unable to reach with the Clarisonic. Now I go in with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Espresso. The Clarisonic does a really good job making the contour look natural. It's one of the things that I love about it. I didn't apply enough product to this side, so that's why I'm adding a smidge more. I always get a little heavy handed with products on my forehead. Not sure why, but I do. <laughs> It's all good because when I use the setting powder, it'll all blend out and look even. If you would like to see how I apply the setting powder, check out my natural foundation routine video. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Um, if, you, if you don't have to get a Clarisonic to do it, if you have a Clarisonic, I suggest you go and get the foundation brush head that goes to it. If you don't, um, but you want to splurge on one, I say go for it because it 
serves a lot of purposes. But if you don't have a Clarisonic and it's not in your budget, I'm pretty sure there are knockoffs. Um, I know there are a lot on Amazon. I do not know if they have a foundation head for it, but I don't see why they wouldn't. <laughs> The products used to create this look will be listed below. Um, this is, I guess you could say, a fall look um, with a dark lip, which I usually don't do a dark lip. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I love pink. Um, so I usually have some type of pink on, but it's fall, so why not try a fall lippy? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe buttons below. And I will talk to you later.